Hello everyone, I'm MVL and in this video I'd like to show you how to play Project Zero 04 Mask of the Lunar Eclipse from the disc on a Wii console with the English translation patch. What you will need to do this is as follows. Firstly, a copy of the game. You can get these imported from Japan from eBay easily. Secondly, you will need an SD card with at least 1GB of space formatted to FAT or FAT32. You'll also need a computer that can read SD cards as well, or an SD card reader like I have right here. You'll also need internet access to retrieve the necessary files and put them on the card. You'll also need to be able to unzip these files as well. The last thing you will need is an American Wii console with the 4.3 version firmware and controllers as well, which is uh, kind of important to play the game. And uh, you will need to also connect your Wii to the internet to do this. And when you do so, do not update. If you update your console, you won't be able to use the patch anymore, so don't update it. You can find the system update rollback files online if you need to, but it is more complicated, so it's best to ensure you have a version 4.3 Wii to begin with. Now, it does have to be an American system for this patch, which for me, as a PAL gamer, was a little difficult to get my hands on, but I really wanted to play this game, it's one of the best in the series. But one bonus of this outside of the patch is the system works as normal, so I can use the system to play American, NTSC Wii, and GameCube games. One other thing to keep in mind for PAL gamers is American Wii's don't output RGB video, so your RGB SCART cables won't be usable. But the good news is you can make use of the higher resolution modes uh, for use of component video cables. Another thing to keep in mind as well is if you do import this, you can still use your UK power plug since it has a power brick as well. The last thing I want to say before we begin this is it is a soft mod, but there's always a chance to brick your system, as in break your system if something goes wrong. So keep that in mind, the risks are very small, and Wii consoles are very cheap if you do. So the first thing you will need to do is install the homebrew channel on your Wii. Select your system version, the letter is the region of the console, and input the MAC address, which you can find by going onto your Wii settings, internet, and then console settings. Download and unzip and place the file boot.elf and the private folder in the root of your SD card like this. Next, we need to download the homebrew browser. Click download, then open your SD card and make a folder named apps. Then unzip the homebrew channel into that folder. Now we need to install the homebrew channel and browser, so put the SD card into your Wii. It installs from a letter bomb from the mail section, so click on the mailbox. It won't necessarily be located on the same day as it is, so you might have to go back a bit to find it. I did. You need to open that mail and follow the instructions. Then open the homebrew channel and click on the homebrew browser option to install the homebrew browser. Now we need to install a program called Revolution. Open the browser to find Revolution, download and install it. Now it's supposed to be added to the home menu, but it might only be accessible in the homebrew channel. That was the case for myself. Now we need to get the patch, so take out your SD card and put it back into your computer and grab the patch files, which have been harder to locate these days, but at this time it can still be found on archive.org, which also has a patch update and some extra costumes. I didn't use either of these, but you're welcome to try them out and add them too. I can verify that the unmodified translation is fine. And the majority of the patch update was for the Spanish language. So you want to grab the following files as shown here. We need the English patch, patch loader for 4.2, and patch loader for HBC, which is the homebrew channel. Unzip these into the apps folder of your SD card. Now these files need to be arranged correctly to function properly, so you're going to have to rearrange your SD card a little. Your SD card root as it is now will have the files left over from unzipping the homebrew channel, an apps folder, and a revolution folder from installing revolution. You need to go into your apps folder and open the folder named patch contents, SD root, and move the 04 folder back out to the inside of your root. Then go back to the apps folder and open the patch 42 folder, Move the file boot.dol and the folders private and revolution to your root. When your computer asks if you want to merge the revolution folders, click yes. Your root should now look like this, containing the following folders. Apps, revolution, 04, private, and the file boot.dol. Everything else is in the apps folder. 
Put the SD card back in your Wii. Now you should be done here, so you might be fine. But I noticed, at least on my system, I needed to reinstall Revolution. Probably because it didn't appear on my home menu in the first place. So I did that. Don't panic. You might have to do that as well. Run Revolution with the game disc inserted. If everything worked out, you should see these options. Enable them. There's some other options if you want them as well. Then launch the game. If you get an error message in Japanese, you probably just forgot to plug in the nunchuck controller, so don't panic either. And there you have it, you can play Project Zero Four Mask of the Lunar Eclipse in English from the disc on your Wii. This game is awesome, I've already played through the game this way and it works a treat, and I'll be streaming it too. So it just remains for me to say, if you liked the video, be sure to leave a like or a comment to let me know what you think, and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. Thank you for watching, I've been MVL, and I will catch you next time.